G'day guys, my name is Tillis20 and welcome to City Skylines Miami. This is a project that I'm going to be basing off the city of Miami in Florida and I'm going to be using only vanilla assets. There's a few mods that I'll be using, some very very essential mods that I'll talk about um, in a little while but this is about as vanilla as I will ever get. Um, and I've purposely done that because I recently did a project for Paradox where I built a city to showcase their newest DLC Sunset Harbor and that city was uh, showcased in the well, was actually used for the trailer um, alongside a city that was built by Chishas and I really enjoyed the process of trying to build quite quickly and also trying to build purely using the vanilla assets and what was the very minimal of mods um, pretty much mods that only really allow me to do things a lot faster um, and that is sort of the idea behind this project is I want to build a city only using those assets to really challenge myself and to see just how possible it is to create something so realistic within a pretty short time frame because I only plan to do this series for like 10-15 episodes so quite quickly um, only want this to last a couple of months and I just want to see like how far I can get basically and also try and showcase the DLCs um, as much as possible especially the newest one Sunset Harbor which I think is a really cool addition and I think it's going to fit in really nicely with the theme of Miami so that is the idea behind this series I'm going to be building the base of the city in this episode doing a lot of terraforming and figuring out the color settings which I'm doing right now and uh, I'll be doing a live play around the 15 minute mark to give you a bit more of an idea behind where I want things to sit and how I'm going to use certain assets to create something so realistic. So for those of you who are familiar with my channel, uh, you'd know that I mostly do builds that are based on very detailed uh, story based cities that uh, you know, usually take a quite a long time. I mean, I think my longest series is like two years. Um, and Marble Mountain's been going for, I guess, almost two years. So I usually do like much larger scale projects, whereas this is not that at all. And the reason why is because this year I want to be doing much smaller projects um, because what I find is that I really enjoy the process of building the city from scratch. Um, and I'm sort of at the point where I kind of want to challenge myself in other directions. So this city is purely vanilla using some very bare minimal um, mods and assets. So just purely mods, no custom assets. Actually, there is one custom asset from the workshop and I'll talk about that one custom asset in a little while. It's uh, probably not what you're expecting. It is like the lamest worst asset ever, but I'll, I'll talk about it in a little second. Um, but basically this project is purely based on me trying to build quickly within a very specific time frame, um, only focusing on developing a big city. So I'm going to be doing zoning. I'm going to be like trying really, really hard not to detail areas. I mean, there will, there will be some specific areas that I'll detail, like the university I'll probably put a bit of effort into. And there will be certain suburbs where I'll be doing a lot more detail work. Um, and I guess like when I, when I say detail, it's going to be very under detailed. Um, but you know, there's going to be certain areas that I want to have a particular look and that's not going to be possible if I'm just going to be zoning everywhere. Um, so don't expect a huge amount of detail. There will be certain areas, but mostly the whole aim of this is to try and get something that is flowing, something that looks um, organic, like a city has grown there, has been built there. I don't know why I keep on saying words associated with things that are living because it's not, um, it's man-made. But I do want it to look like it has grown over time. So don't expect any like close-up shots that are very eye candy or look realistic. Um, I've built a little bit of this city so far and from afar, it looks really interesting because you know, when you look from a, um, you know, from very far away, bird's eye view, it uh, looks very, it looks quite realistic because like the road layouts are, you know, flowing the way that I want them to. Um, whereas when I get really close to take some cinematic shots, I'm just like, oh, this looks bad. <laughs> so don't expect anything too close. Uh, I'm mostly just going to be focusing on trying to get some really interesting road layouts because Miami does have some very interesting roads and even the, like the structure and the design of the city, it's just um, quite a fascinating place. And look, to be honest, Miami doesn't really do it for me. Like I'm not that interested in Miami. I don't think it's a place that I really want to go to, um, to be honest. I think there's like a whole bunch of other cities in America that I would much prefer to go to than Miami. Um, like for instance, 
uh, off the top of my head, I'd love to go back to New York and I'd love to go to somewhere like um, Detroit because I think Detroit has a lot of like very interesting and fascinating aspects of cities that I really like. Whereas Miami, um, you know, I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of, you know, hotels or um, cities that are built within these sort of like tropical environments. Um, I don't know, it just, it just, it's just not something that really interests me. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's a cool place and I would love to go there. I'd love to go anywhere, but uh, yeah, it's not, it, it's not something that is, I wouldn't have expected to have built Miami, um, you know, two months ago, to be honest. So then you might be asking, why have I chosen to build it? Um, well, basically, I think that the type of architecture within City Skylines is quite close to the type of buildings within Miami. So I, I think, you know, without having to download any assets, I think that works pretty well. Um, I also want to showcase the um, new DLC. And I think that a lot of the um, assets from that DLC are, you know, quite easily you know, put into a city like Miami. Uh, Miami has a metro. Um, I think the helicopters will look really fantastic driving, driving, flying around the skyline. Um, it's on the water, so we can put a harbor in. We get a bit of fishing industry. I think there's a lot of, um, you know, maybe not the trolley buses, but we'll save that for Marble Mountain. But basically, there's a whole bunch of things that I can add um, into the city that the DLC do does pretty well. Um, I also think that the road layout in Miami is really interesting and I wanted to work within a, a road layout that I haven't really tackled before. Um, I always build cities that are on um, you know, quite gradient mountainous landscapes, whereas Miami is not. However, the way that the city interacts with the um, ocean and um, the river as well, um, or lake, whatever you want to call it, the harbour, um, I think that's quite an interesting way it's also something that i really hate when cities you know build these like man-made islands and um you know these really big expensive luxurious houses um right on the water in this sort of way uh, very like exclusive very showy these massive mansions and i just think they just look ridiculous but i think that i can create something quite similar using the types of buildings that are already in um, city skylines so that is sort of my idea behind this project. That is why I've chosen to do something like this. Uh, I know it's very different to what I usually do, but that is sort of the idea behind this year. I want to do a couple of different projects. So you're actually going to see another project in probably like a month or so. Um, I'm really kind of, uh, I don't know, doing like some very different things. Marble Mountain's not going anywhere. Like I'm going to keep on working on that. And um, Citroen Province is, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens in that series. I think it's kind of numbered at the moment. But I... I'm kind of just interested in working on some smaller projects and um, challenging myself in different ways. Um, I don't plan to do another series this vanilla again. Like this is probably as vanilla as I'll get until, you know, I don't know. I, actually, I don't, I don't want to say that. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, but the whole idea behind this is to challenge myself in this sort of a way and see what I can um, manage to build with these limitations. And then the next series is going to be, um, you know, a whole different set of limitations and you know within a different type of um, theme and within a way that um, I haven't really done before. So with all that being said let's start talking about the things that I've been doing on screen and basically what I've just been doing is um, figuring out where I want the main features of Miami to sit so I am obviously not doing a complete recreation I mean some of you guys are probably pretty familiar with Miami but for those of you who are not uh, I am not just completely using the the main, um, you know, I'm not using the map of Miami to completely recreate it. What I'm doing is I want to sort of get the essence, oops, just hit my mic, pardon, sorry about that. Um, I want to get the essence of Miami into this series. I want to um, try and like get like the, the main aspects of it and the vibe of Miami and then build it in my own way. So the road layouts are completely different. The uh, the way that the city is structured is completely different. But you will see some particular aspects of the city within this city as well. So um, if you are from Miami, just hit me up in the comments section. Uh, you might be um, able to help me out with a little bit of the project as well. I would really appreciate that. And you actually might be able to you know, convince my negative mindset about Miami as well. Um, you might be able to tell me how awesome it is. Um, because it could be completely wrong. I'm probably am. So yeah, mostly roads at the moment. And um, the types of landscape that I've been doing is trying to figure out where I want a lot of these islands to sit. So these islands within this bay area is, um, I mean, they're mostly occupied by these 
very exclusive um, gated communities um, with these houses, massive houses, big old mansions right on the water. And a lot of these guys have yachts and boats and um, wharves and they're just like sitting on these massive blocks of land. And I wanted to really capture that and build these sort of communities. And I think that's really quite easy with the types of houses we're giving given in um, City Skyline. So I'm trying to figure out where I want a lot of them to go. I didn't want them all to look the same. So, uh, you know, as part of this project, it's sort of getting the essence of those um, places and even like taking the general layout of those um, of those little communities to then create something quite similar um, but also trying to um, figure out how I would structure these um, types of islands within this city too because um, the way that my landscape is it's really quite different to um, the landscape in um, Miami. So um, this map, this map is actually by um, Mr. Miyagi. He's done a really great job at creating this map. It's beautiful. Um, it actually came with a bunch of um, Mr. Mason's trees. So this is the Cypress Bio uh, Mass Transit map. And yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of uh, Mr. Mason um, like Cypress trees. Um, I'm just looking at it now. Mangroves and royal palms and live oak and um, the cypress trees are just awesome. Um, download if you're gonna if you're interested in this. Download it with all the trees. And I've obviously like totally uh, changed the landscape a fair bit, but I did use a lot of it as inspiration. And I think the base map is really great. Um, the way that the trees are scattered around and the rivers as well. I think they're really it's like a really great starting map, especially if you're building something based on Miami or. Um, you know anywhere in Florida. I think it's even based somewhere in Florida. It might, might even be like Tampa or something But um, yeah, beautiful map. Thanks for that. Mr. Miyagi. Um, sorry. Mr. Mason. I didn't use your trees um, I would have totally used your trees if I wasn't trying to build purely vanilla uh, But yeah, I am going to be using the vanilla trees, which yeah, I mean that's not like the greatest option <laughs> like I think there's I mean I know there's way better trees on the workshop um, pretty much like this series is like you know, you're going to be seeing me use a whole bunch of vanilla assets where you're like, oh, please just use the ones from the workshop, but no, nah, not going to happen. Um, that's what I did in Marble Mountain. I went, you know, I pretty much was going to, I said that I wasn't going to use any custom workshop assets except for the ones that I started with. And then I, you know, just turned it into another, <laughs> another series with lots of custom ones. But, you know, um, I think custom assets are the way to go. Uh, so, yeah, don't recommend doing what I'm doing like I think you should just totally download things from the workshop but this is for me to challenge myself and challenge myself is what's going to happen I yeah it's a real struggle um, you know just playing with these sort of um, assets does not make it easier it actually makes it a lot harder um, and you'll be surprised to be honest like the the um, the frame rate in this is not great at the end because I think there's a lot of you know a lot of these assets they're not that well optimized, whereas a lot of the assets on the workshop are way better optimized than um, some of the assets that come with um, the DLCs and with the base game. So um, don't let don't let the workshop fool you. I know a lot of people think that mods and assets cause lag, um, whereas I, I reckon they actually are the solution to lag um, within reason. <laughs> don't go downloading every single thing from the workshop. So now I'm starting to put down some houses. So these guys I've just placed down. I've popped them down using Plop the Growables. Um, but don't expect this from like all the houses, all the suburbs. I'm going to only do this for a couple of them. Um, these suburbs was like just a bit of a test. Um, next episode and the episode after I'll be plopping down houses. But um, yeah, I don't expect to be doing that everywhere. Um, all around the outskirts of the city, um, even most of the city, um, I even think on the other side of the beach I'm going to be doing like zoning, um, whereas these guys I just sort of wanted to see what sort of um, buildings I had to play with, like what I could achieve by placing them down. I, I was really trying to get as much detail as possible within these, like not, I wasn't trying to get detail, I was trying to just like figure out exactly how I can um, make this work. And um, now that I sort of have a bit of an idea, I. I'm not going to go and place down every single one because that's just going to take too long. Um, zoning, I think, is going to be the way to go. And I um, I think I'll be placing down, like plopping down what I know I will be, the downtown. So the downtown will all be plopped. 
and you know because that's gonna be such an iconic it needs to be very um, like specifically built uh, whereas I think like the houses and the commercial districts of um, this of this project is um yeah can totally just be zonable um, and that's a bit of a trial because I do want to get into zoning more buildings um, moving forward in this game uh, using districts in a better fashion and trying to create realism like that um, I think I'm starting to get a little bit over just plopping down houses I think there's um far better you know I think zoning can be a really um, useful technique when it comes to um, you know creating those um, suburbs in a much faster manner um, I also I, I failed to mention this interchange but this interchange I um, just modified a little bit so that it's has this um, you know has this overpass and um, so this underpass that is rather than being a, another highway it's just a, a road and the traffic flow ends up being pretty smooth on this thing which is quite nice um, I will have to improve certain aspects of it moving forward because we will um, you know once we start developing the other side of the bay area we will get a fair amount of traffic so we'll have to fix that up at some stage um, but for the time being I think it's fine I think it does its job at least and um, the riverways, you can see um, I've been using the canals and they work quite nicely to create these little riverways. It's, it's a shame that I can't get like, you know, boats in there and, you know, it would have been cool to see some super yachts um, and some speed boats. But, you know, alas, that's what the project is. We've got to stick with what we got, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe some of those... I don't know, I think the fishing vessels won't actually look that good going through those. So I think we'll just probably just leave them the way that they are. Um, and those houses, they go um, like a lot of them back onto those uh, those riverways, which would be pretty pretty nice. But I mean, they're just sitting on ridiculous blocks of land, aren't they? Um, I, I don't get the appeal with mansions. I have no idea what people do with that amount of space. Um, I've got an apartment, and I feel like that's all the space I could possibly ever need. Um, but whatever floats your boat, I guess if you've got millions of dollars, then why the hell not? Um, building some parks around this interchange, I thought this would be a pretty useful area for some recreation and one thing that I didn't do was I didn't create any um, actual parks um, with the, you know, obviously using the custom parks that you can create with Park Life. Um, however, I will be going back around these areas and creating some more um, parks because I will be having a bit of a focus um, not just on trying to create a big city, but also trying to make it somewhat functional. I don't want it. I don't want complaints or um, demands. I want to try and keep everything working. You know, quite nice. A lot of the houses I'm placing down as well are. Um, you know, they're quite high leveled. Um, you know, some of them like five, six level houses. So I do need to keep the uh, the land value around these areas pretty high. So I think we're going to have to try and create a little bit more land value by uh, making some parks. So I think that's something I'll have to do a little later on. To um, finish off the time lapse, I'm just doing another little community, another suburb that is um, pretty, you know, pretty, pretty exclusive. They've got like one road that gets into their, um, into their suburb and they're right on the water on these little islands. Again, I don't know what the appeal is on, of these things, but you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, we're getting into the live play, so I'll talk a bit about what I've been up to and all the things that I've got planned for this series. Okay, this is it. This is all we've built in this episode. It doesn't look like much, but um, it's a fair amount, to be honest. Uh, this is like a pretty big space to, um, to build a city, and this doesn't look like much, but if you have a look at how many squares it is, so it's pretty much two squares of plopped down buildings and um, details. So there's a fair amount. I don't plan to plop down every single house in this um, city. I plan to do a lot of zoning. So, I mean, all this will be plopped. Um, I might plop a little bit around here. Um, the downtown will be um, placed down by, um, by hand, plopped as they say, uh, but then all the way around these areas, like this is just going to be suburbs and you know, when we start getting into outskirts, we'll probably get into some more farms. So um, or I plan to zone all that, um, all the areas that won't receive too much attention. I'm going to unpause it, but we'll see what happens with the water. We might get some flooding um, and I'm sure everything's going to start complaining because we pretty much have no services at this stage. It's just suburbs and that's it. Uh, but there will be a big aspect of that too. So we will want to try and get as much um, much happiness amongst my residents as possible. So I have just built this place uh, manually plopped. I won't be doing this for all of the areas. 
And you can see why I've done that though, because we were going for a particular style of houses and they're, they're fairly large. Um, if I was going to zone these, it would have taken a while for them to finally be, um, be grown to this size. So, um, yeah, don't expect that for, don't expect that for everything. Uh, but you can sort of see how like from afar, it looks pretty interesting. Like it's pretty detailed. It looks like an actual city, but when you get up nice and close, it's it's rubbish. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's, it's um, not my finest work. Um, but it is quite fun. Like it's, it's a fun challenge. I want to put it to you guys to um, challenge yourself with the base game and, um, and like a time frame that is um, quite short because you are able to achieve like much grander scale sort of cities. Whereas, you know, when you kind of go all detailed, yeah, it takes ages. Alright, so what I plan to do um, in the future, um, this is going to be like a very touristic area. This is going to be like the like the main drag of um, of like Miami Beach. Uh, there's going to be like an obviously a big beach here and I think this will be like some sort of um, like biggish park. And around this area too will have the same sort of vibe except probably have a little bit more of a, I think this area here will probably be a bit more um, commercial than what this will end up being like. Um, I want to get some golf courses in here too. get some custom golf courses. Um, this is going to be like Dodge Island. This is like a big, um, a big industrial, um, dock that's, it's going to serve pretty much the entire area in terms of like cargo coming in and out. Um, and then that's going to feed almost directly into the downtown. So this is where I'm planning on having the downtown, um, pretty close to what is a massive interchange. And then there'll be a bit of um, industry and commercial around here. And the rest of the area is going to be pretty much zoned um, suburbs. It'll be interesting to like see how far I can get in terms of zoning and planning. Like I I'm quite ambitious, but we'll just see what happens. These areas are, you know, don't expect every single one of these islands to stay the same. I might like drag them in different locations. I don't know if I'm going to get this far. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty ambitious project, but you know, as usual, I'm very um, ambitious. <laughs> and I, I kind of am um, very optimistic, but uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. Um, I really like this bridge, by the way. I think this is, you know, quite quite an interesting bridge. This was um, pre-existing, by the way. I didn't do anything to this. Uh, and a lot of these islands too will just like have. Like some of them will have um, like communities on them um, with wharves and we'll have ferries and helicopters going around. It's just going to be like bustling when it's um, all um, all alive and people are happy and uh, in. I'm pretty sure these guys are getting a little bit miserable. Yeah, we're going to, we're not going to impress these guys for a while, to be honest. Uh, oh, I mentioned that there's one single asset that I've downloaded from the workshop. Have you had any ideas of what it might be? Well, the single asset that I have downloaded from the workshop is, in fact, this car park. Which I'm pretty sure is like one of the very first assets that was put on the workshop. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the only asset I've downloaded from the workshop. And that's because we need car parks and it'd be um, a real pain just to have to zone, not zone, but place down every single individual car park um, as props. Instead, I wanted to see them more functional and the only way you can do that is by downloading them from the workshop. So I've just downloaded one single car park and that's it. All right, guys, that is pretty much the project. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments section. We've got a lot of work to do and I'm gonna dive into um, recording the next episode and we'll, um, I'll get that up as soon as possible. Obviously, stuff like this is going to change, all right? Like, this is so temporary. All right. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching this episode. Much appreciated. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave some feedback in the comment section or just by rating up the video. It helps me out a ton. I want to give a special shout-out to some of my patrons like Christian Nyes, Michael, and Marcus Ola. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Much appreciated. If you haven't noticed already, there's not going to be any cinematics because there's nothing really to look at. Um, but guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!